Hola everybody, I have so much to do today, but I am so tired. I am exhausted. We had a great weekend, but I am just exhausted. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try not to ramble too much for this intro because it's a lot that I have to get done, but I wanna let you guys know what I'm gonna work on today. I kind of made myself a little bit of a schedule this weekend. I have my little planner with me, which is this one. This is the one that my daughter gave me. It's a student calendar. She had extras from school. But anyway, I didn't have that with me. This week is a very, very busy week. I kind of didn't plan on it because everything just came at once. Today, I have to ship out six dozen Smiley Face Cupcake Toppers. And the only reason I have to ship them out today is because Etsy decided to, to put that I process Saturday and Sunday, which I don't. They have been asking me for the past couple months to update my processing time because I process faster than what I put. But honestly, I want to keep my processing time as is because you just never know. And for some reason, they decided to put that I process on Saturdays and Sundays. So because of that, these two orders for the six dozen cupcake toppers, even though they were purchased on Thursday, I have to ship out by Monday. And mind you, Friday should have been, I think it's an elective holiday, my husband said, and then Saturday, Sunday, not working days. So, you know, that's fun. Thank you, Etsy, for that. If I would have been home, I could have worked on them, but we weren't home all weekend. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Que mas? So those six smiley face toppers, then I have 20 chip custom chip bags to make a mail out today that i took on it's for my sister well it's a gift that she's gifting i took that on because you know why not and i really like the theme and it's something that i want to offer so i took that order and that has to go out today tomorrow i have a dozen smiley face cupcake toppers but those are light blue they're custom I have to edit a video that I have to get ready for Friday. I have two other cake toppers that I'm going to see how today goes and I'll see if I can fit that into my schedule. But the reason why today and tomorrow is so important is because on Wednesday, I'm not going to be able to do any work. I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday and I will probably be out for Thursday and Friday. And you guys know that Saturday and Sundays, I don't work. No matter what Etsy says, these things I have to get done today and tomorrow, including the videos or the video for Friday. I also have a huge order that i have to work on for one party it's 15 custom chip bags a number seven four 3d letters and a shaker cake topper thankfully that's not till the 17th that it has to be delivered so i have some time for that but it's something that i do have to start working on because it's a lot of pieces that i have to cut the two toppers that i don't know if i'm gonna take for this week i'll see how later on today goes and how tomorrow goes and i have to ship out something that i made last week oh and then i have six cake toppers no not six i think there's only five left that have to go out next week oh yeah so if anything i'll do priority shipping but i have to start working on them today and tomorrow because i have to send them out next week there's lots to get done this weekend i was able to design the custom chip bags that i have to make today so i'm gonna start by getting those printed this is the custom chip bag that i designed this weekend i just designed it on canva you guys saw this uh in my stitch video this is how I saved it as a PDF. I couldn't remember how I saved it. Thankfully, I still kept the stitch one and it's as a PDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and print these. And when I print, oh, I already have my settings on here. I don't remember what the settings are. So thankfully, I already have them as chip bags. And I just click print. All right, easy. Now in addition to the custom purple underlighting and the blinged out wheel spinners sporting the colors of the Basketball team. When I made the Stitch custom chip bags, they were all the same. They were all Lay's classic chips. With this one, I'm going to have three different kind of chips. And I forgot about that. So I have to figure out where to put what chip it is in the bag. Just in case. Because they did want three different chips. I think because I have some space here in the nutrition bags, I'll put it right under here in like nice bold letters. That way when they're looking at them, like this one I'm going to send anyway, because I already made it and what am I going to do with it, you know? So that way when they have them, it'll be like this and they just have to look in the back to see what the chip is. That's also a good way to promote myself as well because 
you know, they'll look at the back and they're like, oh, this is nice, you know, and they'll like figure out who made it. And if they are curious as to where that QR code takes them, it'll take them to my website. I kind of want to make a QR code that takes them directly to this listing. If I have some time, I'll do that. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know the update on this part because I printed out the first one. It came out beautiful as usual. Look at that. I love how glossy it is. It's a little noisy right now because I have all three machines going. I just wanted to show you guys this is how I'm going to put the type of chip inside of the bag. So I have 12 Doritos Nacho Cheese, 4 Doritos Cool Ranch, and 4 Cheeto Puffs. And I'm just going to put them right where the nutrition packs are. I put it all the way at the bottom and in bold letters. This just printed and I think it looks super cool because it's blue. But obviously this is not what we need. I should have caught it in the other one though because... This is the one previous to that one and it started turning blue. And if I was paying attention, I would have realized it, but the lights were off and I wasn't paying attention. So I wasted two sheets and I wasted all this ink. I think the blue looks super cool. I love it, but obviously it doesn't go with the theme. I finished printing all of the Doritos nacho cheese. So now I'm gonna go in and edit it to say Doritos Cool Ranch. And I'm gonna say one that says Cheeto Puffs. I've also been working on getting all of the toppers ready. I have one, two, three, four, five, six dozen, and then another dozen for the blue ones. I already had three blue ones made, and I remember because I was supposed to take pictures of them and have a separate listing for them, but I totally forgot. So I'm gonna try my best to do that this time around. But yeah, I'm doing good as far as everything that I need to do. I decided that the QR code, I'm just gonna keep it as my website because I was also trying to make a listing for the custom chip bags. It was just taking forever. I have to figure out pricing. I have to figure out my images and a whole bunch of stuff. So that's gonna take a long time. So that's gonna be some time later on. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave the QR code to direct strictly to my website. I have to run out to go get the chips for my chip bags so that I can chip them out today. I have until I think six is the latest. I ended up having to go to Walmart because I needed a box to fit the chip bags. I did get my chip bags as you guys saw. My son requested those because he came with me. And then while I was at Walmart, I bought new plates. But I also found Cricut Joy, the Smart Vinyl, on clearance for $3 each. So I grabbed one for my sister. They had a whole bunch of other colors, but she only wanted gold and black. And in black, they only had removable. Random snacks and stuff, because they're off of school this week. This is the original box that I purchased, and I didn't check, I didn't read. They weren't fitting. These looked huge when I first took them out, right? And I'm like, what the heck? Why didn't they look so big? I tried to cover them. And they were just not fitting. Like, look at this. It was just not going. And it's because these are the bigger size. So these are one and three eighths ounce. I was supposed to get the one ounce, which are, where are they? Which are these. You see the difference between these and these? That's why these weren't fitting. So I have to go back and get the one ounce. I have all of the chip bags finished. I ended up making 25. And these are what they look like. I think they came out so nice. And then the back has the type of chips that are inside. So I have the Doritos Nachos Cheese. I have Doritos Cool Ranch and Cheetos Puffs. This is the aftermath of yesterday's orders. I tried to clean up a little bit and I did well for the most part because everything was even worse. But I 
kind of just wanted to leave it as is what i have to work on today is finishing up these smiley face cupcake toppers the kids already made all of these for me i just have to heat up my hot glue gun add the sticks add my logos and um, package them up so i just turn on my computer and i'm gonna get started for the day i'm working on these characters for my sister she wants these cut out into cake toppers i was gonna use regular paper decided to use photo paper instead because i feel like the images come out so much more vibrant i just finished these toppers and i thought it would be a great time to give you an update on how my morning has been going so what usually takes about half an hour maybe an hour tops which are these things here. I've been working on these for the past three hours. And the reason why is because they suck. I bought a file on Etsy and the file just sucked. It came with a whole bunch of different files. So I'm like, all right, fine. If this one doesn't work, then I'll choose another one, blah, blah, blah. Well, none of them work. You can't tell if it's far away. If you go really up close, you see how it's pixelated? And this is the best one I could get. Look at the banana. You see how pixelated it is? The seller wrote that it's not good for anything larger than six inches, but these are at most 3.25 inches and it's really, really bad quality. These are for a cake, so you can't really tell that it's far away. And I'm not charging for these. These are for my sister. I'm not charging for these ones. So yeah, along with her cake, it'll be fine. Yeah, the quality is just not there. So I did request a refund for these. There's no way that I would ever use these again. I, um, you know, it's not like I'm going to sell them. I'm not going to do anything with the files. I feel bad though, because the seller was really, really sweet. I also gave her some tips on what she can do to fix the quality of the images using Canva. So hopefully it works for her. But yeah, these took way longer than they should have. And mind you, this is something that's free. Like I'm not charging for this. For me to be working on this for over three hours, not three hours, over three hours is a lot. But you live and you learn, you know? So that's pretty much all I've been able to accomplish. Just these little things here. Everything else is just sitting there waiting for me. So I'm going to start working on that now because I have to catch up. This customer ordered four dozen of the smiley face toppers. So I have 24 of the smiley face on here and 24 of the thunderbolts in this little box. Call me paranoid, but anytime there's a big order like this, I always take videos and take pictures. So this little clip right here is just my video evidence that I am sending four dozen cupcake toppers. And I'm also gonna take a picture of this order once it's in the box. It's just my little insurance so that nobody can pull a fast one on me when it comes to bigger orders. I've got my four packages ready to go and I figured it would be a perfect time to use my thank you USPS stickers that I printed using my Munbin label printer. I'm gonna choose four of these. I love all of them. I think I have another one. I'm pretty sure I have an extra one in here. Yeah. I'm gonna place it right there where the barcode is scanned. Thank you. 